Hello everyone, this is Mar Haddad and I'm going to be the trainer of this course. Before I start explaining what we are going to do in this course, I would like to give you a brief idea about myself. I am a trainer of different courses that I have them online on Udemy for MyCritic and for Huawei. And as this course is going to be about MyCritic, so I will name for you what certificates that I hold from MyCritic. So I have the MTCNA, which is the first level certificate in MyCritic. Then I have MTCRE, which is Routing Engineer. And then I have the MTCUME and MTCWE. So WE is always for wireless. So what are we going to do in this course? In this course, I'm going to show you how we, you can protect your MicroTik router. And of course, when you protect your MicroTik router, you are protecting directly your internal LAN to not be possible to be attacked. Of course, there is nothing 100%. So we try just to make it as hard as possible for the attackers or the intruders to be able to attack our MicroTik router and to enter to our network. So, as our MicroTik router is already connected to the internet, then in this case, we have possibility to be attacked by the attackers which are in the internet. Now, someone can tell, okay, why don't we disconnect our MicroTik router from the internet? And in this case, we have a safe network inside our LAN, and then no one can attack us. Well, here my answer goes to two points. Point number one, of course, you can disconnect your MicroTik router from the internet, and, but in this case, you don't have internet anymore and you cannot share internet to your users which are inside your network. And if you are in a business environment, we know that you need the internet for the users to be able to make their jobs. So if an employee doesn't have internet, then how can he do his work? That's point number one. Point number two, if you disconnect your router from the internet, you don't have any more attacks from the outside. That's true. But a lot of studies show that over 30% from attacks that is happening in our network is coming from our inside network. That means if you have a company, the employees who are sitting inside your LAN, which normally should be trusted, they do the attacks to your network. Then in this case, if you disconnect your MicroTik from the internet, this will not solve the problem because you still have a very big risk to be attacked from the inside network. For this reason, you need to do some type of hardening on your MicroTik router OS to secure it and to lock it down in order to make it as hard as possible for attackers to attack your network. I would say here that there is nothing called 100% security, okay? So if you want to secure your router, you will always work on making it harder and harder every now and then. You cannot say that I just make it secure and that's it, okay? So after that, you have to monitor and then again, you have to do phase two of redesign your security to make it harder for the attacker to attack your network. This is what we are going to discuss in our course. I'm going to go through many points and most of the course will be based on labs. So if you are ready, let's go directly and start with the first lesson of this course.